guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cleji. If you're new, hi and welcome to my channel. I do all kind of luxury videos. I make reviews, I make first impressions, I make unboxings, all kind of things that you can imagine. So if you're interested in stuff like that, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also comment down below what you think about my latest purchase. So guys, as you guys might have seen, I have posted an unboxing after a long time and if you guys watch my videos, you know that I maybe, re well, I was very off buying things. Like I went into stores and I tried them on and I didn't like anything. So this mood is over. <laughs> Officially it's over. I finally got myself to buy something else again and it kind of feels good when you decide well it's not for me and then you shouldn't buy it it doesn't matter if other people have it or not it doesn't matter if everyone around you is buying like tensional bags per week it doesn't matter if you don't like something don't feel like you have to buy it just because you see everyone buying this is something i want to say because i kind of think that channels like mine can influence you in a way that you think you need to have the items someone have or you need to keep up with someone and that this is normal um, well just be aware that behind all my purchase I put a lot, a lot of thought on it I put a lot of work behind it and I just don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff and <laughs> unbox them and post them on my channel um, just for views or to look like someone I'm not because I'm just a normal person I buy what I love and I will always just buy what I love and um, I just want to share my knowledge my experience with you guys so let's get back to my first impression so I know the Lulu bag has been around for um, maybe two years or something I'm not sure um, didn't really check that <laughs> But I know it is not new and it had its up and now I got it. So let me explain why. So I was looking for a beige bag like f since last year, right? And I've been texting with my essays and it's fine. Um, I understand like they showed me stuff but I really didn't like it. And I was just kind of thinking well I'm paying so much money and I'm getting so little bag right so I was kind of thinking twice about what I wanted to get um, so I decided to check out other brands and see what beige bags they have and I knew that the Lulu bag would every season come out with a new color and I love Yves Saint Laurent as you guys have seen my if you guys have seen my sneaker designer sneaker collection you guys know that I'm crazy for their sneakers they make awesome leather goods so I decided to go with their bag why just because the price is good for the price of a Chanel bag I could buy two or three of these bags that I just got but I'm absolutely happy with the one that I have because I found a color with the hardware that I love and in Ch at Chanel I just couldn't find something at the same color that I would love and it was worth it to me so if you haven't seen the unboxing I will just play the unboxing here it's very fast or you can just skip that and watch the video which will also be on top here that you can watch
so let's get started with the bag so this is the bag don't be fooled by the lighting because of the lighting it looks very light well obviously but the camera kind of doesn't give justice to the beautiful beige that the bag has um, I don't really know how to explain this beige it's like a little bit brownish but more into a beige tone not very light but also not so dark basically a little bit darker as what you guys see right now and you guys see the leather is super soft and very beautiful and what I love about it it feels very 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 sturdy you you're not afraid to get something like on it and that the back will immediately have a big scratch so that's a big plus um, even though I didn't pay as much as for a Chanel bag I kind of still wanted to look its best for as long as possible and I will take good care of it so you know you guys know that I like my things to look as new as possible for as possible for the longest time as possible and the hardware already came with scratches um, but not scratches that like from wearing because someone wore it before me because I actually bought it brand new from Boininga this is a luxury good store here in Germany well <laughs> I also have to admit they didn't pack it like that nice they just wrapped it they put the dust bag on it they wrapped it in in plastic and they called it a day well I wanted to make a nicer unboxing but I couldn't so well and the thing is <laughs> there are scratches already which for me is basically perfect because I will not be afraid um, because you guys know when you have like a hardware um, and it's just like fully perfect, polished, looks brilliant, amazing, looks at you and you're just like, oh, you're so perfect. But then you scratch it and you have that big fat scratch on it and you're like, it's just very annoying. Nobody wants to look at it. Everyone gets triggered by it. That's just, that's just a fact. Like I get very triggered when my shiny, beautiful, polished hardware gets scratches especially when you see them some brands manage to make it in a way that you don't see the scratch but some brands they just really want you to see it and to hmm, call it the day for it to lose value and I don't know well whatever <laughs> I wore the bag today and it was so good it feels very good it is very lightweight so it's not heavy at all Compared to my cocoa handle, my cocoa handle is heavy. It's very hard. Even when the bag is empty, for me, it's very hard to run around the whole day with the bag because it's very, very heavy. Um, this one is not heavy at all. So I'm like, ah, it's so amazing. It felt very good. So as you guys can see, I left the sticker here. <laughs> um, don't know when I will remove it, if I will. But I heard that the stickers can actually ruin the hardware. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with it. L give me a couple of days. So this is the inside of the bag actually. And you see you have three departures. You have this departure here is bigger. And this one is with the zipper. You can fit maybe a card holder lipstick whatever you want inside I don't really use the zipper departure because I'm kind of lazy and I don't like opening and closing zippers when I close and open bags so and then the the patch on the bag is a little bit tinier but it fits the same amount like just the openings it, if you guys look for it at it maybe it's just my eye maybe it's all the same thing well, and then you have another departure here, maybe for letters, bills, hardware, whatever you would like to put in the bag. So, right now I'm editing and honestly, why did I say hardware? Like, who's gonna put hardware inside of their bags? Like, I'm sorry you guys, I might have been just like very woo in the moment, talking stupid things, but... Forgive me.
you won't need a bag organizer definitely not because the bag is very well organized by itself already from the back it just looks like this it's not a double flap <laughs> you have that so all in all i'm very happy with my purchase i am very helpful that i had like this kind of wake-up call where i told myself well you're gonna buy a light bag and it might get dirty it might get color transfer do you really spend want to spend so much on it and have it being destroyed and be upset later so I'm very happy about this de decision and I think you should always think about things like that before you purchase a bag. Is the money really worth it? Um, will the damage be big if something happens? Um, what about color transfer and all the other things? And I'm also happy that I bought this darker type of beige and not the very light nudish one because you you know when you look at a white or a nude bag the first thing you think like oh stains how will it be when you stain the bag right and so with the darker nude um i just felt very comfortable i feel very comfortable wearing it i'm not very scared i will try to not wear it with black clothes i will still have to be very careful um when i wear it with black items with maybe a black jacket or when i decide to just wear it on the crook of my arm or just my hand and i have a black pants but i'm down to do it i'm down to be very careful but i know that it will hurt less than having color transfer and stains on my Chanel bag so not that I think Chanel is worth more but the money is just more that you have to spend and when something gets on it the pain is automatically bigger so you cannot change that it's just how it is um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be definitely coming out with more about the bag. Um, I hope I answered a lot of questions. If you have any more questions, just let me know. And I will try to answer them in the comments. I can also make another video if I see there are a lot of questions, a lot of things that I left out. I will definitely make a wear and tear on it and how much it actually fits inside. So there will be definitely a few videos coming up. Um, but just let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love to see you in all of my videos. So see you in my next one. Bye! Thank you.